Hello ladies and gentlemen, Hollow Tide here, and if you want more Halo content, make sure you sub to the channel. We're grinding infinite right now, even though it's not up, lol. Should I say lol? I feel like people are gonna roast me. We're just gonna keep it in. Anyways, if you like the video, make sure you leave a like, and uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments your feelings about the good, the bad, and the ugly with Halo Infinite's flight tests. And that's basically what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go over my issues with the flight, and then I'm gonna talk about the good things. So an issue, the BXB melee combo thing is absolutely insane and it's already been fixed internally, so that's a good thing. I do think button combos are cool. But I don't think that they should alienate or be this incredibly strong. Another issue I had was the matchmaking settings. And this was very apparent in Strongholds because it ended in a massacre literally every game for me. I just think that maybe my teammates didn't know how to score points and the other team was maybe a full party. I see a lot of people complaining online that, you know, the party matchmaking system was just putting teams of four up against solo randoms. And I definitely felt that. So hopefully with the full release, there's a to matchmaking i don't know if there is like skill based matchmaking at all in the flight but i was getting dumpstered another issue i have is the weapon balancing of a couple of the weapons i know a lot of people are talking about the ar and that it should be nerfed but honestly i think that the ar is a little too strong and i think that it does reward a bunch of people just holding w or forward on their controller stick spraying it and either getting a kill or a melee what I think should happen is they nerf the unskilled spraying version of the gun. And something that I've seen online is to remove the headshot multiplier or just reduce it if you are just holding down the trigger button. So like if you shoot five bullets, the headshot multiplier goes down. So you're not just getting a random headshot kill. That's kind of the only issue I have. I think the range is a bit much as well, but a lot of people are arguing about that on the internet. So... I don't really know. There's a lot of people that seem to really like the AR. Plasma pistol is also kind of weird to me, and I'm not sure what its purpose is supposed to be. I think that they said that the fact that it doesn't stun or disable vehicles is a bug, but I just don't understand what it's supposed to be used for other than, you know, it just doesn't seem like the plasma pistol to me. I also think that they need to fix the gravity hammer. Again, this is something that I've said before. It's very wonky. It feels very unreliable. The charge up time is just a little bit too long as well, I think, especially for the payoff. I think that the removal of the physics sandbox, you know, like hitting people and having them ragged all away, I think that that's terrible. I think that Halo feels like Halo when you can do weird, funny things like that. And I think to remove it from the game overall is a huge mistake. We all love those little silly moments. Especially when you have like the repulsor. I don't know why they can't just add the physics of the repulsor to the gravity hammer when you kill somebody, but I digress. Probably the biggest issue that I had was that aiming feels ridiculously hard. This feels like a very difficult game. And no, I'm all for skill gaps in video games, of course. And I use mouse and keyboard and I use the controller during the flight. I think that the mouse and keyboard side of things, maybe the optimization of the game on PC is just not there, and that's why mouse and keyboard feels kind of clunky. It feels okay to me, but I just don't think it's there. As for controller, I felt like I was at a disadvantage, honestly, more so than usual if I'm using a controller. The aim assist feels extremely low. The hitboxes are extremely tight. There's like no bullet magnetism. And while I appreciate the skill gap, I do think that this would be a huge turnoff to the casual social side of players who are just, you know, playing Halo for fun. And I think if you alienate those players that in turn the game will suffer mightily for it. People talk about Halo 3 and Halo 2 and all these games and their skill gaps and blah 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 blah, but those games were huge in the social atmosphere. Like, everybody played those games. There were modes for casuals and social playlists and stuff, and I think that even if you were crazy good at the game and you were, you know, grinding MLG ladders, there was still a place for those social players and it didn't alienate them. Another reason for this could be hit registration. I do feel like there was a lot of issues with hit reg in the flight, but who knows? That could just be my PC or my internet or just who I was playing. It's very small sample size. So those are my issues with the game. We're going to talk about a few of the good things. The game looks amazing i love it it looks beautiful i'm so happy that 
you know, a lot of people were talking about this game is gonna look like trash. It's gonna look worse than Halo 5, and it is not like that at all. I do love most of the gun sounds again. I, I cannot get over how good the BR sounds. The overall sound design, music, all that stuff is fantastic. They've adjusted some of the weapon sounds. At first, I didn't think I was going to like the AI in the game always talking to me, but he has definitely grown on me. I think the weapon sandbox is pretty good. It's varied. The weapons do specific roles most of the time. I will say that the one thing, I, I love the music, but in game, I'm not sure I like the half time music and the music that plays when you get close to winning. I think it's a little bit too long, but I also think that that's a good way to give the player feedback and let them know what's happening through the game. So when you hear that halftime music, you're like, oh man, somebody's hit, you know, half the kills already. Also, Behemoth as a map, aesthetically, holy crap. That is one of my most favorite maps of all time already. And it, it's literally just been out for a couple hours. I love it. I love how it plays. I love how it looks. I just love everything about that map. So we have Big Team Battle coming up this weekend. If you guys are gonna be a part of that flight, remember, I'm pretty sure that everybody who downloads the Insider app on Xbox can play this weekend. It's pretty much open to everybody on Xbox. So hop in there, let me know your thoughts, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.